Waiski me Maoni Weok. And in Menominee, I said, Good morning, everyone. It's an honor to be here and to speak to everyone here today. I do want to thank Doug for his words. Uh, a lot of them relate to uh, Earth Day and also the beliefs of the indigenous people of this uh, great Turtle Island. And Turtle Island is what we call the vast region of uh, North America where all the indigenous people are, are uh, lived for eons, thousands of years, and are still living here today. My name is Dennis Canot, and I refer that to as uh, <clears throat> my government name, <laughs> my Indian name, is a page pomona, and it means one who walks proudly. At the end of my presentation, I am going to be saying a prayer for each and every one of us here in the language. And you will notice I am wearing a cap, which I will not be removing because I am wearing an eagle feather in my cap, and that feather has to be in my possession at all times when I speak to the Father of all fathers. A little history about this area. The Menominees lived here for centuries in peace and harmony with the Ho-Chunk people. Nina Manasha is the English word for nene manasse in Menominee, nene manasse. And it means my little island, referring to Doty Island. We had a settlement there long before the arrival of the Europeans. We hunted, gathered wild berries, fish, uh, and that's what sustained us in that particular area. And we also lived all the way from there, going up the Fox River to, back then it was called Fort Howard, which was in, uh, of course, uh, Green Bay. Through the Treaty of the Cedars in 1836, we ceded land to the United States government. <clears throat> and the chief negotiator <clears throat> for the Menominees was uh, Chief Oshkosh. And Oshkosh is an English word for uskas, okimau uskas, and that means claw, chief claw. And through that treaty, we had to give up thousands and thousands of acres of land, and we moved west up to the reservation. On the, on the, on the Wolf River, we migrated to our present day a reservation in Kashina, Wisconsin, which is oh, approximately seven miles north of Shano. Earth Day reminds me that <clears throat> indigenous people are one and the same, which I call Grandmother Earth. And you'll hear that term quite often, Coco Mansima now. That's how we say Grandmother Earth. Grandmother Earth takes care of us in our daily lives. And we, in turn, take care of Grandmother Earth. That is our duty. We also teach the younger generation that 
that is going to be their responsibility when they reach adulthood and the elders are no longer with us. They have to keep on with the same traditions and take care of Koko Masimanao, Grandmother Earth. In my prayer, I'm going to be, I have my tobacco. We always have tobacco. The person speaking to the father of all fathers has the tobacco in his hand. And he has it in his left hand. And the reason being, the left hand is the closest to your heart. And so that's why we hold that tobacco in our left hand. We offer this tobacco as strength. And later on when I get back home, I will put this tobacco by a tree for show of strength. All indigenous people honor the eagle. The hyph, he's the highest flying bird, or one of the highest flying birds, and he carries our prayers to the Father of all fathers. We are called Menominee, and in that word is Menomen, so Menomenee, and Menomen is the word for wild rice. This was the name given to us by our neighboring tribes, the Potawatomi, up north the Chippewa, the Ho-Chunk. because we would harvest wild rice was one of our main supplements for food. We have, we have creation stories. We've always been here in Wisconsin. And by the way, Wisconsin in Menominee was, is pronounced Wisconsin, Wisconsin. And it means a good place to live. The Potawatomi and the Chippewa have migration stories. They migrated here. Their own stories will tell you that. And we taught them how to harvest wild rice. And so that's why they called us uh, the Manawak, Menominee people. And with the arrival of the French traders from the Europe, Euro Europeans from uh, the French traders from France, they also called us that, the wild rice people. That is not what we called ourselves. We called ourselves Kayasma Machitawak, ancient people, movers of the seasons. Our land was way up north from Escanaba, Michigan, all the way down to uh, Racine and Kenosha. And so the seasons for growing and hunting were different in that we would move about because the seasons would change from our southern area all the way up to Escanaba and then over as far as the uh, Wisconsin River. The Menominee language is Algonquin, as is the Potawatomi and the, uh, the Chippewa. The Oneida language, the Oneidas didn't arrive, came to this area uh, in the 1800s, we, you know, relatively not that long ago. But their language is from the Iroquois dialect which is totally different. And the Ho-Chunk language comes as an offshoot from the Sioux, the Sioux language. So their language too is totally different than ours. So things happened over, this, over uh, 200 years ago that were not good for our people. 
we didn't understand what the United States government was doing. And it was, it just didn't fit into our culture. We just had no understanding, why are they doing this? And the one I'm going to touch on Manifest Destiny. In 1845, the United States government was destined by God, they said, to expand its dominion and spread democracy and capitalism across the entire North American continent with no regard to Native people living on this land for thousands of years. There was enough land here to share and live in peace and harmony, but they wouldn't hear of that. They were bound and determined to have manifest destiny. In 1803, we had the Louisiana Purchase. 828,000 square miles of land was sold by the French to the United States government. Native people that lived on this land. In our culture, we don't own Cocoma Seminole. We don't own Grandmother Earth. How can you sell something you don't own? We are a sovereign nation, which means we can govern ourselves. And we hope that these treaties will be honored. We are constantly on guard that these, so that these treaties won't be violated because even in this day and age, there is some government entity that will question our sovereignty. And so we are very, very aware and very leery that they may try to abuse those treaties. And that's why we were on guard for, for that, type of, uh, that type of action from these, uh, any governments, state, county, federal. So with that, I am now going to switch to the Menominee language. I'm going to introduce myself in the language, and then I'm going to do a prayer for each and every one here and I'm going to ask the Father of Fathers and thank him for giving us life and strength as we go forward on our journey. I'm going to ask him to watch over and think of those who may be sick, all our, uh, all our elders, all our children, all our veterans. So with that now, I'm going to have my tobacco, and I'm going to switch to the Menominee language. Like I said, I'm going to do a short introduction and then uh, continue on with the prayer here for to the Father of all fathers. Poso Maoni Weok. Dennis Kanot. Mokamani Wishwan. A page pamotna, a machi tauni wish one. Namanini tan skuni yan and wawan and mauni week case piak. The katamana with skiki tim and nami hot twin, mashikta, so cook some more well. Neck the mau, my tobacco. Mauni weak patch patawanek. La ha, mama wa kohono. Yoga awiks e om nek namao, 
Kata in Asamoanan, Kimasamasamanok, Skul Kanawa Tork, a Kunil, a Skutu and a Spamian S. O Chica Sia Enaka, Skamokaha Enaka, Sauno Enaka, Skanik Enaka, the four directions. Paso Tapa now, Sauni no Tamanok, Wawanan, Wawanan's Kata Kea, Skase Pitaya Omas. Na hao in the pi mama wa kohono. Yo kata ni torcha kimana kina pasen and eiom. Na hao mama wa kohono ni me na na me a tatan so patch no tawea ni to ko chimana so na na me a mau ni weak mau chase na tuak yo spe. Now how, Mama wa kohono, ne ma mea te tean sao patch no to wea, ne to ko chimanao sao patch kanapa mea. Ma wa kum we sakasim, ma wa kum ni chianak, ma wa kum kach kiwak, ma wa kum se maka ne isuk. Wea wanan katana ma wa ni kako nix kase mini kia sao patch pa mata sea, ma shik ma skosa wen. Kaki no hamo wea sa mano o totu a kuak mao ni wea k mashikta o tapanao ki papa china tuak. Maisi a mao ni wea k sa kum pa maska ki wayan. Wawanan mao ni wea k kes pa tawanek. Ne tamo e makanak no hao enek. And enek is how we say amen. I just want to mention that in my prayer, something I always say, no matter what the celebration or what the event is, I ask the Father, all fathers, to teach us to be kind to one another and to pick us up when we fall. So once again, Wawanan means thank you, and it was an honor to be here today. <laughs>